Why did you do it? It's a tough question to answer. On the one side are the people who think I must have been absolutely insane to have done a thing like this, uh, especially a man with a wife and two children. And on the other side are the people who think uh, it was a wonderful thing to see someone achieving a long-time ambition like this. He said he's going to sail from uh, Falmouth, Massachusetts to Falmouth, and then I said, crazy, this is just, it's not possible. All I can say is that consciously, uh, ever since uh, a lecturer who made a small boat voyage spoke at my high school, I've uh, read all I could about it and have wanted to make a voyage and finally got the chance to do it. And I decided I want to take advantage of this chance, and so I did it. There you are on the front page. <laughs> now, read on a little bit. What does it say? It says something about a hero's welcome. My goodness. <laughs> and suddenly there he is living his dream with, uh, with all the fantasies that he anticipated and perhaps a lot that he didn't. I think the, uh, the quietest place on earth is the, the middle of the ocean and a calm. Uh, I was taking pills to keep myself alert and the result of the lack of sleep and the pills and the, and I suppose the, the first impact of loneliness, I began having a, and a very elaborate hallucination, that, you know, the weirdest thing that I've ever run into in my life. And the captain didn't believe what he was seeing, but, and, and you know, he, he wanted to rescue me. He couldn't understand that I didn't need any food or water or anything. And, and I think he was kind of disappointed that I didn't agree to be rescued. The Manry story was so different and so beautiful because it was an adventure story and a happy story with no villains. If you have a dream, go for it. That's what Robert did. He had the feeling that if he didn't do something, the dream would slip away. It was every bit as big as Lindbergh crossing the ocean. Every bit as big. And that's how the people treated him. It's like, how did he ever, ever do this? Every man in the world probably has a, a, some sort of a Walter Mitty type dream that he wants to exercise and, and complete. Manry was one of the few people that ever really had a chance to take one of these adventures and run it all the way through and do it. Even today, if I mention this, either the person will say, wow, that's fantastic. Or they'll say, what was he, nuts? Then there's, a, I guess, maybe a middle group where they'll say, wow, he's nuts, but that's fantastic. This is my sun helmet. <laughs>